I usually don't play mages either. I, I usually just straight up play warriors. I I did a couple of the veil fire puzzles and they were annoying. I know, it's as if the Inquisitor wasn't there when Solo sucked out Mythos Soul. Who would have thought? I hate knowing things. I hate for sure knowing things before my character does. I hate it in books. I hate it in video games. I hate it. It's like, then you're just sitting there like, oh my gosh. Like, I understand it's a popular trope for a reason. Like, like it's useful in some way. But And it, and it brings a certain sort of setting and, and feeling to a book or a video game or whatever. But... I just, sometimes I just can't handle it. I just get annoyed. Well, I'm like, you know what? I bet you Mythol hasn't moved on. Flemeth is dead because Mythol, this is probably the first time Mythol has left her soul. So Flemeth is probably dead, sadly, because she's like my favorite female character in the games. And Solus has Mythol inside of him. Which I think is also influencing him to do some things that he otherwise perhaps wouldn't. I think Mythol is influencing him in a way that is not good. Not a fan of dramatic. I'm not a fan of dramatic, guys. Exactly. Thank you for the correct verbiage. It just frustrates me. I think I'm a little too straightforward for that. Like, that's why I don't usually play a rogue. I don't have the subtlety for it. I'm like, nah! <laughs> Just let me punch things in the face! <laughs> Do not go in the water. Do not go in the water! Okay. Flemeth was badass. It was funny that when I was playing Origin, it wasn't until Dragon Age 2, I think, like, how are the Dragon Age 2? that I remembered that Flemeth died in Inquisition. And I was like, but I'm already really attached to Flemeth. I was like, but I really like her. She's cool. Like Flemeth herself, not just Mythol. Like Mythol, I don't really know if I know Mythol that well. You know what I mean? I liked Flemeth. I wish that her more when I got a better chance to like, I don't know. Get along. I don't know. You know, like make up, sort of. Do I know what happens if Morgan has an old godson? Um, do you mean in the fade? In the fade where you go, where you go to Adamant? Um. I don't know if that's what you mean, but I have seen screenshots of this really weird thing where, like, Flemeth is, like, kneeling in front of or Morgan's old godson, and they're under, like, Dirthamen or something? Or, like, a blood altar, and it's super fast. Like, you have to, like, run to catch it, and it has to be under certain world saves, otherwise you won't see it. I actually, I like the puzzles sometimes. I don't like puzzles that kill me a lot. I, I like puzzles that I can puzzle out, you know? You're gonna bring Cassandra, Blackwall, and, the, and Blackwall and Sarah to the Emerald Graves? Ooh, Cassandra, Yellow, Blackwall. See, oh, there was a couple playthroughs ago where I was trying to bring Cassandra and Blackwall out a lot because I thought they would be bestest palsies. And, and they were. They're like bestest palsies. But Blackwall says something after he, after he found out the Tom Rainier thing. Where he's like, I don't know if Cassandra will ever forgive me again. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, you guys would probably be best friends before this. And I've never heard Cassandra yell at Blackwall, though. That would be kind of interesting. The bridge puzzle in Origins. Right, do you know if you know Flemeth well, though, really? Oh, no, she was very much influenced by Mythol, but, like, I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe it was mostly Mythol talking through Flemeth's mouth, but Flemeth was there because it was Flemeth's desire for vengeance that brought Flem that brought, brought Mythol there. I'm basically, I basically think that Mythol and Flemeth are Anders and Justice, because Justice became vengeance. Mythol was once the goddess of justice and motherhood. I th she is basically out for vengeance now. Because 
and I don't think Flemeth wanted justice when what happened to her husband or whatever happened. I think she wanted vengeance. Oh, she tears him a new one? Dang it! Now, I'm gonna look that one up, actually, Frog Raider. I wanna see that. I bet you she would. She would not hold back. Not a little tiny bit. Not a little tiny bit. Oh yeah, there's definite, there's definite like foreshadowing and like links to be made there. And I feel like, I mean, a lot of times people think that the Anders was mishandled in some ways by the writers. And I think that a lot of those accusations are true. But at the same time, there is still canon in there. And, and it's a big hint on how Mythal and Flemeth are interacting. For his heart, for his heart, our highest one is bound. The secrets that he keeps, he keeps with us. That vigil that he keeps, he keeps with us. His fear will not weaken us. No one shall come, dear mentor. In our eternity, only darkness reigns. I wonder what happened to the disciples. Did, like, did they, like, die or... Oh, no! No, 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 no. Wow, stop throwing your weakening magic at me. I don't like it. How about, how about, how about, how about, how about, how about we just get rid of this problem? Right now. Oh, I need to see the scene where Mythal reveals herself to a Flemeth who has a son, or to a Morgan who has a son. Oh! Oh my gosh, I don't, yeah, don't tell me. I definitely want to see it, but... I can't wait. When I play my my canon playthrough with Erica, like it will they will be Morgan will have a son and it will be an old godson. And I am so excited because it's gonna change a lot of things. I'm almost surprised that was left up to chance. Or like left to your decision because having an old god baby, I'm pretty sure is gonna have like major repercussions on the world. And kind of leave that up to like the player whether or not it actually happens seems a little bit odd. Oh, Ashley is killing a dragon, so she's like super focused. Uh, Anders is the best care is the best character written. Not a single player who doesn't have an extreme reaction to him, which is exactly what you want as a writer. I agree. I guess there were some people who said that, that he was because he's supposed to be bipolar. There are some people I've heard, you know I've talked to a couple people about it that like his. The way he was written is written by a person who doesn't understand a bipolar disorder. Um, and I'm like, oh, I don't really know much about, my bi about that bipolar disorder either, you know? So I can't be the judge of that. But it does seem... I, like, I can't tell if he was bipolar before Justice or if he is now bipolar because of Justice. Um... And it does, like, as the games go, as, as the acts go on, you know, he's like, I, I love Anders. I think he's, I think he's an amazing character. And I know that Dragon Age 2 suffers from, like, really being rushed and stuff. And I can see how maybe that caused some issues with, like, story and character. But I feel like the characters themselves are pretty well done. But there are some really good arguments, I think, to be made for the fact that, like, Anders' character was, could have been handled differently. But at the same time, you're right. You're right. He was written to have, an, and he has, people have extreme reactions to him, and, and that's basically how it was supposed to be. You were supposed to have extreme reactions to Anders. To his, like, to his actions and to his thought process and everything, and he's a compl one of the most complicated characters in the game. Like, I feel like he, oh yeah, okay. We're back at the beginning now. Yay. This place is a mage. You just wish he was more like Awakening? Yeah, he got pretty... Hello. He got pretty jaded. Uh, for sure. There's no doubt about that. Ow, 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 ow. Blow up. Yeah, there's... No doubt that he got jaded. What does that do? What did that just close something?
What? I hadn't found this place before? Good luck, Ashley! I think he kind of, he has moments where he's like he isn't awake. I was actually kind of glad he wasn't like he wasn't awakening. The awakening guy was like, it was really like laissez-faire, cave, clip, playboy, or whatever. I feel like he grew up a lot in the time between Origins and Awaken, or Awakening and uh, Dragon Age 2, but... But I really liked him in Awakening. Like, he was just this funny, happy dude, you know? And I feel like they could have had him more like he was in Awakening in Act 1 and just had him kind of more gradually kind of fall into the person he eventually becomes in Act 3, but... A number of them were scribbled on the scroll. Many crossed out or written in terse, angry letters. Reveal the heart, unite it with the flame. Together they will form the key to liberation. Advancement, the translation is not clear. I also do not think this brassiere is the flame it speaks of. Okay. An explorer's notes. Oh, I haven't found this area. How great. I'm just kind of wandering around. Where did the thing go? Where did I put it? I dropped it. Where did it go? Was it, oh, it was over here. Right? I dropped it over here. No, I dropped it in the water. He's more fun in Awakening, but you can see why he changed. And if he didn't change, yeah. Ah, oh, the beast is slain, Ashley. Which one did you kill? Roma, you have like an allergic reaction to him. I love Anders. <laughs> he... He's almost like... Maybe it's the fact that he almost feels like a lost cause. I don't know. But he, I mean, he tries so hard in the beginning. He is protesting peacefully. He tries to have talks as a mage representative with, like, with, um, Elfina and everyone. And he's, like, he's trying to do things peacefully. And then he's peacefully trying to get people out of the situation that they're in. Uh, and, like, he doesn't resort to things until after, like, ten years of this crap going on. He's so troubled and you want to... And maybe that's the problem. I think, I, personally, that's a problem I have. Like, I'm like, oh, he's troubled and you want to fix... You can't fix people. And that's what... You, you learn that in the game. Like, I romance Anders because I thought I could maybe help him by romancing him. You can't change a person by being in love with them. You can't. And Anders was, I mean, he loves your character with, like, a great fiery passion. If you romance him, like, he loves you, heart and soul. And maybe it's that sort of just, like, he throws himself into everything he, he feels passionate about. You know, whether it be love or hate or vengeance or justice. He throws himself into it and loses himself in it. And trying to think that you can help him, maybe keep him grounded... It's, it's not it's not the way he works. He has no restraint, not in love and not in war, as Dorian would say. Thurthamid is gone, he said. Our highest one brings to us this gravest news. What shall we do? Where shall we go? What of the old secrets that burn within our hearts? We all know you and lost causes. Anders sword is black. Blackwall's not a lost cause. Blackwall gets redeemed in the game, which is why I really like his romance, is that you can redeem him in the game. And it's fi it's great. It's good. Solo is halfway for a whole other freaking game. Ashley, you're only level 10? And you beat the, the level 12 dragon? Shoot, I couldn't beat that thing when I was level 14. The Ferelden one? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> dragon Slayer at 10. <laughs> No, that's impressive. I can't even... There's a rift that's like a level 12 rift there that I can't freaking kill to save my life. Can't do nothing about it. Wow, Dorian! Why are you so awesome, Dorian? I love it. Zephyrin was damaged, but not a lost cause. Exactly. Oh my gosh, Cassandra! Look at Cassandra! That's cool! Zevran's my saving grace, basically. In these games, Zevran 
So everyone was damaged, right? And he was something that you could help. You couldn't fix him, but you gave him the opportunity for acceptance, and he chose whether or not to fix himself. You know what I mean? And he did. Like, he didn't even need to be fixed. You just gave him another chance. You, you gave him another path. You gave him other options. He didn't know he had options before. He didn't know how to have options. And you gave him options. And he was like, oh, cool. Thanks. You know? I do love me some elves. I do love me some elves. He was an elf. He was the only elf I could romance in that one. So, yep. Yep. I do love me some elves. I don't know, though. Blackwall? Ooh, buddy. I, I am really fond of that romance at this point. Ears of unheeding. Do I have the heart? Eyes of sorrow. Heart. I do have the heart. Tongue of whispers. Alright. I really want to know what Solus is thinking of right now. Was, it, was this high priest somebody he knew? Maybe? The fall of this temple is because of Solus's actions. And I thought this was like Tevintery before, but maybe not. Maybe this is elven stuff. So cool. Elf and an assassin! Whoo, buddy! Yep, I was doomed from the start. Doomed from the start. Did I just do like almost 100,000 damage? Did I really? <laughs> I probably did like 10,000. Yeah, I don't think 100,000. <laughs> uh, if, if I go from sneak, I can do 10,000 damage easy. Oh, freaking thing there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm level 21. I can go, Talon can go drinking. How exciting. Whoop. The phone's being loud. All right, where now? I don't know where. <laughs> the temple to Dumas, it definitely is different. I just, that, that, that particular, um, the, like, mosaic that has, like, a tower on it, that, I thought that was, like, a Tevinter type relic, but I, like, before, when I've seen it before, not in here, but since it's here, I guess it's Elven. I only have two more. Alright, well, what's over here? Ah! Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, this is one of those... Okay, good. I opened it now. Okay. Chamber of Sorrow. Take the eyes of sorrow. I'll take the eyes. How many eyes? My bow also has a really rad ability where it does walking blades. It's like 10% chance to do walking blades at any given, or um, what's it called? The, the, the hidden blades at any given time, which does a whole lot of damage. I can get white girl wasted in America. That's right. That's right. Because in Europe, you can drink when you're like 14. <laughs> 16. I think 16 in most places. <laughs> so almost every hit you do is almost always a critical damage. You do a lot of damage because of critical, you always get your skills back really quickly. So you can just spam non-stop. But being an archer artificer is like God because you almost always have your skills and it's just amazing. Man, okay, I someday I really actually do want to play as an artificer, and I feel like the best way to do that would be as an archer, because it lets you kind of read the battlefield. I like I like having the distance to read the battlefield a bit. But being an artificer would take some freaking patience, man. Oh, hard and high town! <laughs> Very I find your freaking book everywhere. Sixteen and a meal. Really, you have to buy a meal. That is so funny. I mean, that makes sense, right? Like, generally, like, if you if you drink with a meal, like, you're less likely to get like super like right off the bat drunk. But wow, you have to have a meal. That is funny. That is funny. 
All right, we've been through here. Where's the other one? I keep forgetting I can like actually look at these things and not just run around willy-nilly. I'm actually really surprised because I'm only like, I mean, I'm paying attention, but I am distracted because of like all the talking and stuff. But I, I, I'm surprised at how quickly I'm going through this. That's sealed. Watch, I like get super stuck on this one. Somehow. Ah! Okay, shoot. Now we're, okay. Uh, I gotta find the knob. Oh, shoot. Oh, rash vine noodle. I mean it. We've been through here. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Ooh, nice. The only thing you can do an archer, even a mage. Running, running into fights is freaking fun. The passives are what is good in the artificer. I know, right? Is age different in Korea? Well, I know that uh, there is something different. Uh, Korea does something differently. I know they like basically like it's an it's a it's a not an artificial language, but Korean is an intentional language. It didn't just uh, like the one that they've been used for like the last fifty years. It's uh, what's the word? You know what I'm talking about, Roma. You're a linguist. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm trying to say. Chamber of Despondency. Where was the ding nab? It wasn't this one. Nope, oh, that one's down. So it means it's open. Path of Shadow. Back at the beginning. Okay. Was it... Nope, that one's open. Yeah, Koreans count the nine months he spent in the womb as one year. Oh! Before. That's right. So you pop out and you're already a year old. It's a lot of pressure for a kid. <laughs> what? Oh man, the veil fire over there is singing to me. Uh. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they added a 13th one because back in the day, way back when they were doing the astrology or whatever, they, uh, they took out the 13th one because it was unlucky. It, was, uh, it, would, it would have been unlucky to be born in the 13th year or the 13th month or even the 13th year or whatever. Um, so they just took it out, <laughs> basically. They were like, nah. Tell you what, it's all about people making their own fates, apparently. That's how they roll. Open. Oh, man. Is this, this is where I was? It was. Shoot. Path of Secrets. Dang it. Man, there was the one that I just... I messed up. Yeah, yeah, it's for real. I can't remember what it is. But, yeah, it's for real. They added a 13th one because it was supposed to be there originally but they took it out because 13 was tech, was an unlucky number in western cultures and uh it would have basically screwed over anybody who was like they would have basically like killed anybody born in the 13th month you know what i mean so they just decided to take it out they wouldn't have killed them but they wouldn't have like ever gotten jobs or anything you know It would have just been a screwy life. Ah, here we go. Zodiac signs are based on when the sun or planet is in a certain area or something. So having a different constellation doesn't change it. I think it doesn't change it for most people. I think it changes a, a little bit. But I can't remember. The, the constellations are based on when the sun 
is a behind or the zodiac is based on whether the sun is in a certain constellation at any given point in the year at certain points in the year i guess um so like this is my birth month october is my birth month i'm technically a libra because the sun is near the libra constellation no i opened the wrong one All right, now I jinxed myself. I totally freaking jinxed myself. I'm like, I'm going really well. And now I'm like, no, I'm not, not. You're in the new one. So we get a Zodiac and lose a planet. Oh my gosh, you are right. What Pluto, we lost Pluto, but we got a freaking Zodiac. Koreans love the writing system, Roma. You watch a documentary about it, and they were praising it nonstop. <laughs> How scientific and efficient. And at the end, you were like, yes, Hangul is great. Must learn Hangul and use it all the time. <laughs> they are quite proud of it, as far as I can tell. It was, it was, a, it was like created by like an emperor or something, and... It's pretty good. It's supposed to be very efficient. Oh, see, yeah, I'm a Virgo now because that's why. Because they 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 changed it a bit. Because I was born on October 18th, and it used to just be all of October was Libra, but now it's basically November is Libra. Oh, nice. Yeah, the uh, the new one is the Officius, I think is his name. It was one of the original thirteen, but they didn't they didn't ever put it into practice because it was unlucky to be a thirteenth one. It's the hidden thirteenth star. I think I'm more of a Libra. If what I I don't really know much about the astrology stuff, but I think I'm more of a Libra than a Virgo. But I don't know. What's a Virgo like? I don't even know. If you guys know, t tell me. I'm curious. Oh, uh, is it freaking... Is it this one? It is not. Oh, my gosh. It was right next to it. I'm an idiot. No, no, Talon. I wanted you to pick it up. A Sagittarius would be cool. I like... I think I like... Cause it's like a centaur. I think that's cool. Libra is like a pair of scales. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I am justice, vengeance, mercy. All right. Well, Cassandra, do you mind uh, bashing this in? Oh, I don't know why I haven't seen Cassandra breaking walls when there's these three dudes right here. Just gives me the happiest little fuzzy, warm heart feeling you've ever had. <laughs> Frog Raider? Well, I don't want to be an opinion. <laughs> well, I don't want to be. It's okay, I don't want to be a Virgo. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what a Virgo is. Virgos are super organized and quite chatty. They're basically the mom friend. All right. <laughs> Larry, you are crap. <laughs> <coughs> I think on the um, Chinese Zodiac, I, I went to a Chinese restaurant the other day and they had it on the table. Um, I think, I think I'm a horse. I was born in 1990. I can't remember. Give me it. Give me the ghost beard. Give it. It's not gonna give it to me. Yeah, I hear you, Veilfire. Uh, oh, birthday stream! Yes, my birthday is coming. You know what's funny? <laughs> is um, I actually I checked. I am leaving for work for camping for a week on my birthday. So, how exciting is that? Uh, 
uh, perfectionists who want what's best for their loved ones I can sometimes come across as being nitpicky. That's a that's a Virgo or a crab. I know my birthday is Halloween month. Halloween's my favorite holiday. It is. It's my favorite holiday. <laughs> I have so many Halloween decorations. Like my parents, like like a couple years ago. They made tombstones out of styrofoam and like made wooden bases for them and they used a dremel to like carve out like the names of everybody or just funny little sayings you know on them. Oh man, they're great. Oh, a Virgo is a perfectionist? Lucky your Chinese zodiac's a dragon? Oh, I think that's cool. They will come first in the night, those who would steal the words from our lips, and our God no longer rises to our defense. We claw at the walls at the walls. Now we pray for a dawn that will never arrive. <sighs> Whew! Ooh, it just gives you the I, I literally just got the heebie jeebies from that. Dang it! I would I wasn't even close! I wasn't even close. Don't act like I was I wasn't even Dorian, why does Dorian keep hanging around in the background? Is he like mad at me? I think Dorian's mad at me. So not only am I a snake, I'm also a dragon. Fight me. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> Bro, I'm a crab. I'm a dog. I can totally take you. <laughs> I just... His little crab and little dog just like <laughs> this giant dragon and like a Ouroboros snake type thing. Who buddy? That'd be funny. I breathe fire. You are a fire breathing reptile of all sorts. We'll have to make do with birthday gift. No, you silly. <laughs> no. I might do one the night before. That would be kind of fun. Maybe that would be a fun little birthday stream. You didn't let him light the veil. Thank you. Lemonsy, I needed you to explain why Dorian was being sulky. <laughs> He's being passive aggressive back there. Uh... Oh, yeah. I just checked. I'm a horse. I'm a, I'm a horse in the Chinese Zodiac. I'm a, I'm a horse and a pair of scales, like weighing scales. I'll just th throw them at you. I don't know. <laughs> Yay, birthday stream. You just missed like five minutes. Ashley, I was laughing. It's okay. I was laughing really hard at your comments. <laughs> uh, you're like, fight me. Fight me! <laughs> I just see this cute little dragon and this cute little snake. Fight me! What does, uh, is Virgo just a woman? No, no, give me an image of Virgo, don't. Oh, I think she is. All right, so so I'm five four, so I'm mean. <laughs> a horse and a scale sounds like an Egyptian deity. <laughs> oh, Frog Raider, you're right, you're right. Solus, he thinks Solus, he thinks I'm favoring Solus for whatever. And Talon just has no idea, right? Talon just like, oh yeah, Solus, come help me out. They're like two elven bros in an elven temple. Like he's like asking Solus questions for translations and stuff. And Dorian's, that's what it is. They're like broing it up, and Dorian's just jealous now. Larry, you're a crabby dragon! Oh, that's cool! It's okay, I'm 5'4 too, actually, Ashley. I'm 5'5 five five if it's a good day. Yeah, Virgo's the virgin. I'll weigh you guys and shame you by your weight. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you're too skinny. Go get some weight. <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> it's okay. Or I could just be an Amazonian women, woman riding a horse and come and like slay, slay all the, tra the dragons and crabs and stuff. Ooh, you're 
you're right. Dorian's like, I can do magic too. And he feels bad about his people. Just That would actually, you know what, that would actually, like, if this was actually that, that would actually be a really good reason, too, is that, like, he may be acting all sulky, but deep down he feels, like, really bad about destroying elven culture. It's like white people guilt, you know? So in Chinese, you're a snake frogger? Nice. Nice. You could, I could slay you. I'd be an Amazonian woman. <laughs> Five foot, nice Roma. I'm a fairly I'm a fairly passive short person. I'm a fairly buff short person, so I played a lot of sports when I was younger. Uh so I'm a big I'm a big short person. At least I like to think so. <laughs> My arms aren't as buff as they used to be because now all I do is walk off. Perhaps it just needs. Oh shoot! I don't know why I was trying to do that. <laughs> I was like, why isn't this working? <laughs> Here, Dorian, you look properly dramatic. Funny thing is, I keep doing solos because apparently Solus is the one that's right next to me. So that's why I keep pressing him. Yay! Okay, drop it now. Oh shoot, Dorian, you're all on your own! Dorian! Dorian! I'm coming for you, my love! Come on, 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 come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right, should we do, yeah, 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 let's just do that. Because why not? I love using that ability. It sets elven magic somewhere what? nearby. You're right, there is one, isn't there? I forgot, but there's another one in the main hall, too. What, that didn't kill you guys? Flamo. You're a double dragon. True, I'm passive aggressive like 99% of the time. <laughs> oh, Solus freaking take a health potion. Dory's like, yay! You always put a ro how do you is it is it like whoever you pick first that you like in the lineup? Like who gets um like, does that determine, does that actually determine the lineup? For when, when you poke, or who, whoever you pick? Oh, we did that. Where's the elven artifact? There is, there's like a room where there's an elven artifact, like, it's like off in a corner somewhere. Nope, don't like that. You trained for your new job with two giant dudes, and all three of you are wearing business suits, and you felt like a mini me. Oh, okay, so that does change it. Okay, I've never really like paid attention to like like, I guess what order I pick them in and what order they show up in, like on my screen. But that's good to know. You're a healing dragon. Yeah, you can't breathe. You don't breathe fire. You breathe happiness and. Yeah. <laughs> you breathe healing magic. It's okay, I'll be I'll be an Amazonian woman. I don't mind being a woman. That'd be cool. I'll be a Virgo if it lets me be an Amazonian. Riding a horse into battle. I thought that was paint on the floor for a second. I was like, what is that? Look at the map and find the black. This part right here, or this part right here? I think it says probably this part, but I can't get through there yet, right? Ooh, you breathe sunshine and rainbows and good fortune! Oh, Ashley, you're the best dragon. Best dragon. You're a magical little dragon. I make your crops grow! <laughs> Make your crops grow. You're welcome. <laughs> see, here's the here's the elven. Oh, so did you see that? Soul is just spawned in next to the elven artifact. Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah! Sorry, sorry, frog raider. Did you mean is, is it this black or this black? This didn't really seem very accessible. 
I can go double check though. It's gotta be in. I, I swear it's in like a room, like a site. Not this room. But maybe it is, because we were like over here, and I was like, I sense another artifact all the way across the map. 